So Nathan, um, today we're going to discuss what you should be looking for when you're choosing a real estate agent. Mm. There is three things people look for when they're choosing real estate agents. Obviously, which, which I think are critical, they, look, they want to feel comfortable with the agent, they trust and they like. Mm-hmm. I understand that's important, but I believe there's more they should look for when they're hiring a real estate agent because it's kind of similar to if you're getting if you're looking god forbid for a brilliant heart surgeon Mm -hmm. you just wouldn't go for a family member or somebody that you feel comfortable with you trust and you like yeah they're important but you would like to know what the process is what kind of system this person uses and what are the result that the, the the heart surgeon has produced, right? Absolutely, yeah. So, in my opinion, real estate agents, we're not saving lives, but when it comes to financial so- sort of things, in my opinion, it's massive what we do. Absolutely, because often it's someone's biggest asset. We talk about that quite a lot, that they're yeah. selling. Yeah. And, it, you know, it's so important to yeah. get it right. Yeah. yeah. So, I say that... The question I want to put there is, what do you look for when you're looking, looking for a real estate agent? Now, my suggestion would be to, to interview three agents. And when they come in, you ask them questions of what is the process that you're going to follow, the strategy that you will help us maximize the value of, your, of, of my home? What's the system that you have to follow up with my buyers? Right? And also... Now, what would you, as an agent, how are you going to be replying or getting people engaged, the buyers interested in my property? And the three agents, same questions. And then I will go even in more detail. I will look at what are the past clients that this agent has sold properties for. Because if you're looking to sell your most expensive asset, which you'll probably do once in seven years on average, you would want to make sure you do it right because we've seen time and time again that people advertised or listed their property with somebody and then they were disappointed at the end, like fully disappointed. It makes me disappointed when people choose agents just because that agent perhaps overpromised sure. or the agent was maybe recommended to, 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 the, to the people because may, perhaps they might have done a good job for somebody else, mm-hmm. but this is not a fluke. Yeah. You've got to have a system. You've got to have a structure as an agent. Mm-hmm. So how are you going to fo- make sure that agent has got good credential is to find out who they sold properties for and ask the agent, give me the phone numbers of people you sold, last 10 properties that you mm-hmm. sold. Let me contact them. I'll be doing that to find out what, how they feel about it, how the client feel about it. Or perhaps when you, if you meet that agent through a property and that property is sold, go and knock on the door, find out what, how the buyers deal with, what was the, the, how did they deal with the buyers? Because uh, you know, agents <coughs> can say what they say, but it's the testimonies, it's the clients, when, when they become the raving fans, that is the real testament, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. And Agents would say, unfortunately, they would say, like, you know, we are the best, we are the biggest. What, what I got to say is the company, the organization, doesn't make, matter how big it is, doesn't matter how small it is. Marketing, there is no difference. Any agent can put a sign at the front, put the property on trade, me, reals.co.nz, and open the door exactly as the other agent would do. Especially now in the digital age, like you mm-hmm. said, every property is going to be on trade, well not every, but you know, properties are on trade media, they're on realestate.co.nz, mm-hmm. but it's what happens in the background, Absolutely. behind the scenes that the client doesn't necessarily see. So the marketing is not, there's not much difference in the marketing of agents or agency by agency. The reality is how this agent that you're going to hire, what's the system they have, what's the structure they have, how they're going to follow up with your buyers, how are they going to negotiate? Ask them. How are you going to negotiate for me? Show me a negotiation. Give, give, do, me, do me a role play. Sure. And, yeah. and so to, to, to summarize, obviously it's important to, to make sure you feel comfortable with the agent. Make sure you like 
and trust your agent, those three are, are critical, but also you must ask the agent, what was the last 10 sales that you did? Let me talk to, you, to your previous clients, buyers and sellers, and find out what's the system that they have, what's the structure, how are they gonna follow up with the buyers? Do they have some sort of system that nobody's gonna fall through the crack? And also, you gotta understand that real estate agents, there's hundreds of them, there's tens of real estate offices. Real estate agents are not commodity. I believe an average agent, as opposed to a great, an agent who's laser focused, who turns up to open home 15 minutes early every time, who follows up every single buyer, would achieve f five to 10% over the market value, as opposed to having an agent, has, uh, an average agent who's gonna put a property on the market and hope for it to sell. But we, we give people listings after listings, people who are yeah. disappointed with, a, with, with agents. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I think also one of the summary points that a lot of people don't associate with real estate is almost doing an interview of more than one agent mm -hmm. because often we'll do that, we get quotes for, for different um, things that we're getting done around the house, we'd always you know get more than one quote, but mm -hmm. often we just choose a real estate agent based on not necessarily like all those points you've pointed out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, I mean, this is this is an important transaction. Yeah. It's an important Absolutely. thing. Like you're most important. If an agent is 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 is, is in a rush to d list a property and sell it, don't buy into that. Mm. Make sure you hire, th look at interview three agent. Make sure you find out what their system and structure is. Make sure you get them both, all of them to role play. Ask them where the list of your buyers that you have. Do they have a list of buyers or are they just going to put it on the market like you would yourself on Trade Me? Because sure. as I said, agents are not commodity. An amazing agent can achieve 10% of the market value, in my opinion, in a good market or in a bad market.